Hi, in this video, we're going to find the derivative of this function. So this is from a book uh, by a mathematician known as Michael Spivak, and the book is called Calculus. And this is a pretty cool book because it's got like um, a lot of cool problems and it's written very well. Okay, so to find this derivative, we have to know a couple things. Mainly, let me just refresh your memory on what the derivative of arc sine is. So d dx of the arc sine of x, that's equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. Also, we're going to have to use the chain rule here. So basically, that says that you take the derivative of the outside, evaluate it at the inside, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. Well, this inside function is really hard to differentiate in the way it's written. So I'm just going to basically rewrite this. Note that if you have 1 over the square, uh, square root of 1 plus x squared, that's really 1 over 1 plus x squared to the 1 half. And you bring it upstairs, and that's 1 plus x squared to the negative 1 half. And I'm going to go a little bit quick just because I'm just going to work it out. Um, I'll, I'll do my best to explain, but I'm just going to go through it because I feel like this is going to be messy. All right, let's go ahead and take the derivative f prime of x. So we're going to have to use the chain rule. We're going to take the derivative of the outside, and we're going to leave the inside untouched. And then we're going to multiply by the derivative of um, the inside. So, so we're going to use this formula. So it's 1 over square root 1 minus, and then we're going to square the inside piece. So we can either plug this in, or we can plug this in, because they're both the same, right? This, this is the same as this. I've just rewritten it both ways. So we have a choice. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like this for this piece. Just because it's going to be squared, and it just makes it easier to see that the square root is going to go away in a minute. Time. So we took the derivative of the outside, evaluated it at the inside, and now we're going to multiply by the derivative of the inside. So now I'm going to use this one, because it's easier to differentiate. So you put the negative 1 half in the front. You leave the inside untouched. Subtract 1. Negative 1 half minus 1 is really negative 1 half minus 2 halves, which is negative 3 halves, times the derivative of the inside, which is 2x. Okay, that's it. So let's clean it up, though. These twos go away. This is f prime of x. Okay, uh, 1 over. This is the square root of 1 minus. You square the 1 here, so you just get 1. And then you square the square root, so it goes away. And then times x over, let's bring this down, uh, 1 plus x squared to the 3 halves. Right, We'll bring it down and make it positive. And the negative, I'm just going to put it uh, here, right? because there is a negative there. I just don't want to lose it, so I'll put it out front. All right, so this minus this, we can do the math here. Basically, you can think of 1 as 1 plus x squared over 1 plus x squared. Right? Think of it as, and then watch this. Since it's really a number over 1 plus x squared, you can write the whole thing under the same fraction like this. It's a shortcut, right? Times and then x over 1 plus x squared to the 3 halves. Cool. Yeah, cool. You can still see. It's a new setup for me, this camera. So, all right. Look at that. The 1's cancel. So this is negative 1 over. Uh, and we're going to have... The square root of x squared over 1 plus x squared. Just Let's just take the square root of each piece and pretend x is positive. So the square root of x squared is x times x over 1 plus x squared to the 3 halves. All right, and then negative 1 divided by all of this basically means you multiply by the reciprocal. So this is going to be negative square root 1 plus x squared over x, right, because it's negative 1 divided by this, so it's really negative 1 times, it's really this, it's negative 1 times, boom, it's really what it is, I just didn't feel like writing it, right, that's how I got that, because it's negative 1 times the reciprocal of this, remember, division is multiplication by the reciprocal, and then times, here we have x, we have 1 plus x squared to 3 halves, good stuff, ah, uh, yeah, look at that, beautiful, this is really to the one-half power. That could be helpful. I'm sure it will be. It will be helpful. 
yeah. And then now um, you lose a one half power, right? Because this is really three halves. If you take away one half, you're left with two halves. Two halves is one, so this is just, boom. So again, because this is really um, three halves, right? So a couple ways to show it here. Um, one way to show the work there. If you're not comfortable with that, I'll show you. This is a pretty decent way of explaining it maybe. See that? So I can take the three halves and wrote it like that. See two halves plus one half is three halves. And then look, boom, and you're left with that. So that's one way to do it. There's many ways to do it. You could subtract and, but if you subtract, you get a negative and then you got to bring it down. And so, yeah, that works. This is a cool problem. <laughs> it's just a lot messier than I thought it would be. This is again from a book called Calculus by Michael Spivak. If I remember, I'll try to leave a link in the description. Oh, this is what the book looks like. Let me show you. So this is this is the book. I have it here. This is Spivak. I have the third edition. It's a big, big, thick book. Pretty cool stuff, right? So yeah, I just figured I'd do some problems, and I thought, well, if I'm doing some problems, I will uh, might as well record them, right? Put them on the internet. Maybe maybe someone out there in the world will watch this and learn some some math. Good luck.